To replace the probe assembly on the TP7D, you need to remove the faceplate and disconnect the probe from the circuit board. Remove the three screws from the front. To get the faceplate loose, you need to depress the spring-loaded connectors to disconnect the cable from the circuit board, noting which connection they, they land. Set your faceplate and its gasket aside. At this point, we need to unwind the cable from the spool assembly. Once the cable is unwound, you need to remove the overhand knot that's holding the probe inside the spool and finish pulling the cable all the way up. To install your new probe assembly cable, take the loose end of the cable, insert it through the handle, and then insert it through the grommet in the spool. Pull around six to eight inches through and tie an overhand knot. And seat that back against the grommet. Now we need to strip the jacket off the cable to get access to the inner conductors, to the inner wires. Score that, strip it. We have to trim back the inner braid that protects the, the wires. We'll do this with a pair of scissors. It's a coax type wire, so we need to separate the inner conductor from the shield. Helps to mushroom this back. Take a, a small screwdriver or similar. Separate that carefully. There we go. I'll give that wire a twist. Keep it from getting frayed. We strip our inner wire about a quarter inch. There we go. Now we're ready to connect it to the circuit board. Put your circuit board back. Not your colored terminals and the wiring label. So we need to connect the shield to the gray terminal on the spring connector. And the white wire obviously goes to the white terminal. Once connected, you can reinstall the gasket and the faceplate. Note there's a cutout for the knob on the spool. And put the screws back in. It's a good idea to turn the instrument on, make sure you have it connected right and you're getting a temperature reading. And there we go. Tighten your screws down. You're ready to re-spool the cable. And that's it.